It's D-Day as voters in Anambra State, Southeast Nigeria, troop out to choose their preferred candidate for the governorship seat. Okay, that's where you, um, Although the process got off to a slow start, accreditation and voting are being done simultaneously across polling units. It's going on smoothly, except that some of the card readers are either too slow or not even working. But I kept on telling my people to talk to the INEC officers to see if they can vote without the card reader. Otherwise, some of them may not be able to vote. Meanwhile, INEC's National Commissioner for Voter Education and Publicity says many of the logistic problems had been taken care of ahead of the exercise. The old exercise took a bit of, uh, was a little bit wobbly yesterday night, but we were able to surpass most of these problems and we made sure that we opened most of the places. As the polls got underway at one of the polling units in Amobia area of Orca, men of the Department of State Security arrested a man allegedly for buying votes for his preferred candidates. He was later released. He cannot say that he saw me giving anybody money because I have not given anybody money. I brought money here. My party said we should pay our agents a certain amount of allowance for doing the job because they'll be standing in the sun. And I want to make sure that they are doing it as one of the old stakeholders in the world and whom they can trust. They say I should have the money because it could get into other hands and they take it away. The voting process was much better in places like Usuchia, Umuju, in Ogbaru local government area. Security is tight around the state with thousands of officers deployed and checkpoints mounted to ensure a smooth process at border points. With 36 political parties vying for the governorship office and the party in power seeking a re-election, expectations are high that the people of Anambra State will get the leader they deserve.